today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Okay, well today we are in Hanover, Pennsylvania, and we are back at the Hanover Goodwill. Our first visit here was really good. Our second visit was a miss, and so we're giving it a third shot. We're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip our profit. Here we go. Oh wow, Pier One cat plates. What? Oh, those are so fun. Oh my gosh, look, there's even a grumpy cat. Now, grumpy cat has a little bit of a chip there, unfortunately. I think those might be worthwhile. Okay, do we think it's vintage <laughs> or do we think it's contemporary? I think it's actually vintage. It's $1.99. I'm hoping that the sticker doesn't take off the gold there. I would love to find a matchy match, but the reason it's probably here is because it has no matchy match. A little flea bite there. There's an old pyrography. Uh, I think that's Flemish Art Company. A date to the um, early 1900s, if it is. $1.99. Looks like originally someone had a hook or something in there to hang it on the wall. I get it for $1.99. There's a Hummel figurine. Oh, she's got damage right there. Still have $6.99 on her. Shall we check? No, no markings. That may be an F there, though. <laughs> Like that. It's an art pottery piece. He's got like all this grass glued in his thing, but it's kind of nice. Three dollars and ninety-nine cents. There's a doggy planter. Oh, interesting. I actually saw this and thought it was a hobbyist piece, but the base makes me think it could be American bisque. Maybe two ninety-nine. We'll grab it for $2.99. Just came across something. <laughs> it is a dish, and on the back it says Ernestine, Salerno, Italy, and painted Majolica. And not only did I find this, I know my flap isn't up. You guys are probably feeling a little anxious. It's okay. Look at this. There is an entire set. Not only is there an entire set, but this stuff sells really well. So we're just gonna scoop it all into our cart. All right, so those are Anchor Hawking. Daisy in the Rain. I figured that out because uh, last week, I think it was, I bought a vase. It was a blue vase and it was the same pattern. Um, Anchor Hawking, I think it's daisies or flowers in the rain. A set of four green ones here. It looks like a set of four blue ones sold for 30 bucks. So. I'm sure that the green probably isn't as desirable as the blue. We're gonna just scroll down. And there's two of the larger ones that sold for 11. So I'm probably looking at like 18 to 24 on those. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> oh boy. I really wasn't expecting a whole lot today and then for some reason we get to the clear and the white section and that's when it turns up. All right, well that was fun. I don't remember our exact spend <laughs> because I was just trying to get out of there, uh, but I will put it down below. Um, I feel like that was a pretty successful trip to the Goodwill. I was very excited about all those plates and dishes. I think those are going to do well. Um, and we got some other good stuff like the, those cat plates and cat mugs. Those were fun too. So I'm going to get out of here now. Um, it looks like I'm going to be driving home in the rain, but I'm going to take the kids over to the new house because my dad built Juliet's loft bed yesterday. So really excited to see how that turned out. And uh, I guess I'll see all you guys tomorrow. So long. Well. Okay, well it has been a few tomorrows <laughs> and uh, I've decided to bring you guys back to the shop because I have a pile of auction stuff. I think our total spend at this auction was $1,200, but I'm kind of splitting it up over multiple videos. So today we're going to be going through two boxes and I already have them pulled out and set on the tray. So uh, let's see what I bought at auction this week. Here we go.
So here, as you can see, is two boxes worth of stuff. I've noticed that Andrew has been putting less items in the boxes. So it seems really intimidating when he gets here with the auction pickup, but then I start going through the boxes and there's like three pieces in one box. So it's probably better that way. Nothing gets broken. There's always a lot of glass. So this is a piece that he bought uh, for one of the metal detecting relic shows that he goes to. Uh, clearly, it is a tin type, and I suspect... He's probably wearing a Civil War uniform. Um, Andrew usually takes these with him to shows and uh, sells them there. And then we have some glass. So this one right here, I believe is Fenton with that white crest. I'm not sure what the name for this is with that um, amber with the white crest. It is a pretty base. This one is hand blown. I don't believe they're... Yeah, there's no signatures on that, but it's an aqua color, um, and then it has kind of an interesting top, the way that they folded it over like that. So that's a glass face. This one was very interesting, uh, very unique. I checked it over, could not find any signatures, but it features this woman in a windmill. I'm going to take it over to the light so you can see it. It doesn't do it much justice, does it? <laughs> There we go. That's better. Um, so it's just a very interesting technique and scene. It's kind of almost this electric blue. And then, of course, the woman is the same color as the glass of the vase. So I just thought that that was fascinating. I really wish that somewhere on here was a signature. But I've turned it over. I've looked at the bottom. There are no signatures on that. But I just I feel like it's a good quality piece. So I may have to do some research on that, and if you know, maybe you could leave it in the comments for me. <laughs> but I, I really love this piece. I guess we'll do all the glass pieces first. Uh, this one here is a Costa Boda, and I can't remember who designed this one. It's signed there on the bottom, but I'm not going to be able to read that. But it does have the original Costa Boda sticker. It has all these cane pieces in there. It reminds me of a vase I have listed right now. It's red and it has a lot of these cane pieces, but that one is unsigned and it's it's um, similar in style but different shape. So I actually went back and looked at it again to see, is it signed Costa Boda? Is it the same? It was it not. But So that was a really cool vase. It's actually bigger than I expected. It's always a pleasant surprise. <laughs> And then we have some studio art pottery. I can usually pick this up pretty cheap. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I, I see value in it. But uh, these pieces are signed. That one's got a scribbly on it. Um, I think this one has a scribbly on it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. That one kind of has a scribble on it, too. So if what I do with these is I usually say, like, oh, I can get 18 to 24 for each of those. And then once I've researched the signature, and I maybe find out a little bit more about them, um, I adjust the price accordingly. So when I'm looking at a lot of studio art pottery, I just count on 18 to 24 per piece. And then I get them, I research them, I try to figure out the markings, and uh, go from there. So that's why I bought these pieces. I like art pottery. So. <laughs> That one is marked Alex. Alex made this one. It's not scribbly. It's really easy to read. Pretty sure I could track Alex now. <laughs> Alright, well that's all I've got for you today. <laughs> Those two boxes. Um, I've still got a few to go through. I think maybe in a few days we'll go through another box and we'll just spread it out over a couple of videos. Um, I've gotten to the point now where I am two weeks away. I know you're probably seeing this um, two weeks ago. But I'm two weeks away when I'm filming this, and uh, so I'm going to probably be doing a little bit more here around the local area and around the shop. And uh, yeah, so it's only a matter of time now. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.